You're watching the Arsenal Vodcast. Arsene Wenger believes that Arsenal have the momentum as they head into a busy festive period in the Premier League. It is, uh, you know, it is vital uh, over Christmas uh, to win your games and uh, the fact that you have now uh, four games, the run of four games together uh, is very positive. Andrea Sharvin agrees that Arsenal are in a strong position at Christmas and he expects them to get even stronger when the injured players return. Of course, uh, now we, we are staying in good position, but uh, we must uh, improve and we are waiting for injuries player. It's important because it's impossible to play uh, always without 5-6 players. Uh, I hope uh, uh, they come back quicker. Heavy snow in North London put paid to the festive Members' Day at Emirates Stadium on December the 22nd, but one major event did survive the weather. Arsenal.com's exclusive web chat with Arsene Wenger went ahead as planned after a swift relocation to the training ground in London Colney. The boss fielded questions from Arsenal fans all across the globe, and subscribers can watch the web chat in its entirety on Arsenal TV Online. Here's a taste of what to expect. Uh, Nisbet in Luton asks, do you ever read or listen to the analysis of Arsenal games in the media? Yes, I do. Uh, I try always to listen to objective analyses and uh, to critics and uh, try as well. Of course, I do not read everything, but uh, I uh, try to, what is, uh, to see what is objective, what is a positive analysis of a game and what is just... Uh, 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 try to destroy our confidence. But surely a lot of that must annoy you because people might not know the full facts or understand yeah. the decisions that you're making. Yeah, but that, that's part of being a, a, in the public eye. Is, uh, you get a lot of uh, unfair, sometimes uh, criticism, but you have to live with that and uh, try to analyse what, uh, what you can take and what is, what is completely wrong. It happens as well. Addy in Hornchurch, which player makes you laugh the most in training? Uh, in training, no, but outside of training, maybe Ebu is a guy. It's always a boy, isn't it? Ebu <laughs> is the funniest. Uh, he tries. Uh, he's a very uh, nice boy, uh, very positive, and uh, but he is he, gifted to to be funny as well. Any uh, any jokes you can remember? He he doesn't play tricks on the boss, surely. He doesn't play tricks. No, on no, no. He's re very respectful as well. You know, sometimes when you want to be funny, you can ge get a bit bit uh, over bored uh, and be disrespectful. He's never. He's very respectful boy. Okay, we'll move on. Um, Ladslav in uh, Slovakia says, aside from English and French, what other languages can you speak? And do you always communicate with the players in English? Yes. Always in English. I speak as well uh, German, some Italian, some Spanish, a uh, little bit. Uh, I, I learned Italian uh, when I was on the uh, south, in the south in Monaco, you know, because we're in touch with Italy. I studied a little bit Spanish, and uh, it would me take some take me some time uh, to live in Spain, but uh, it would come maybe uh, naturally. German, I'm uh, quite good. Uh, Chandra Kant in uh, Egypt says, um, what do you do to help you focus and concentrate on your work? Is there anything uh, special? I, uh, nothing special, in fact. Uh, football goes through my mind uh, every day, for every time. And uh, it is a special, I don't know, am I... Uh, only like that, I don't think so. It's just uh, always an obsession in my life. There's a question that came in. Um, I'll, I'll try and find the, uh, the, the poster's name. Do you meditate at all? No, I would love to. You, you'd like to learn? I would like to learn, yes. Because uh, I believe it's a way to switch off and to become serene. Because we are always under pressure and sometimes you feel... Uh, it would be good to get out of that a little bit and uh, 
Uh, meditation is quite uh, a very interesting way, but I don't master the technique, and uh, but uh, I find it very interesting. Alex Wolf in Mill Hill, just down the road, says, um, "How many hours of football do you watch on TV each week?" Every night. Every night. How many hours every night? Well, uh, between two and three hours. That's it's quite a lot. Of every night. Every night. Every night. And that's what, what it's that sport, does. sport, right. sport, football. Uh, most of the time, because you can have a football game every night, basically at home. And uh, I uh, watch some French debates, uh, English debates on the game, and uh, so we're always involved in that.